All right, guys, you have not just one of us, but two of us today, because we are doing an awesome video, uh, Sacramento versus the Bay Area. And these are two great places, and maybe one of them is going to be your new home. So I want to introduce Rachel Capel. She is my friend from YouTube. We've actually never met in person, um, but I feel like I know her. And it's really um, one of the beauties of social media. There's so many negative things, but the beauty is I would have never met Rachel had it not been for YouTube and our mutual YouTube friends introducing us. So um, Rachel has a wonderful YouTube channel called San Francisco Bay Area Living, and you should definitely check it out. She has, she's been doing this, one of the first people to start doing YouTube in the Bay Area, and I've definitely taken some notes from her. So welcome, Rachel. Thank it's you so nice much. You. It's so nice to be on. I'm excited. I know we've talked so much and we've kind of grown together. So I feel like really lucky to actually be on with you today. Yes. The trials and tribulations of YouTube. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. So let's just kind of talk about our markets right now and what we're seeing in the market. Obviously this video is spring of 2023 and Rachel, you go first. What's going on in the Bay area? Yeah. I mean, like a lot of people know that there's some crazy stuff happening in the Bay area. It's definitely slowed down. Um, you know, we've got the technology area in San Jose, Silicon Valley, like getting hit pretty hard with the banking issue that happened over there. And there's a ripple effect to all of that, obviously. So, um, but good, good news. It's not that bad, but it's definitely not that great. So we are seeing, you know, less inventory for sure. Um, houses, depending on your area and market. I mean, they're still selling for sure, but we just don't have a lot on the market mm -hmm. um, and prices are definitely down. So if you want stats, just reach out to us and I can definitely get you stats on the different areas. I'm in the East Bay area. So, but I do kind of know about San Francisco, Silicon Valley, just because I'm in the area, but yeah, it's definitely down and um, not that much on the market. So just based on supply and demand, um, you're going to have some competition. So I feel like everybody just really wants to be in the Bay area, but you have to be able to afford it. So, um, it's definitely not the best market, but it's not horrible either. So just depends on how you look at it. Yeah. And you're in Walnut Creek. So what's the median price there right now? So median price, my goodness, I would say average is probably going to be, I mean, like if it was a year ago, it'd be like 1.8, but now it's around uh, 1.4 to 1.5 ish. You know, it's down about the stats are around like 14%. Mm -hmm. So um, it's definitely a good time to buy. It's just mm -hmm. not, there's not a lot of stuff on the market. So uh, if you get into the different areas like San Francisco and San Jose, obviously those numbers are going to fluctuate, but particularly in Walnut Creek area, it's around 1.48, like to five, depending on, you know, how big it is and whatnot. So, but we can help you out with that. If you want to look in a particular area, I can get you stats and all that, but in a general sense, that's around where you're looking at. If you're going to buy a single family residence, detached home. Okay. Uh, so right now I'll just say for Sacramento's market, um, it was slow at the end of 2022 going into this year, January was really slow. Um, then all of a sudden it was like a light switch went on and, uh, our market picked up. So we're, uh, February, March, April has been crazy. It's kind of like the summer again, except we have 45% less inventory than we did this time last year. So what that's creating is like the whole frenzy again, even yeah. though the interest rates are so high, you know, so much higher, um, relatively speaking. And, and that surprised me quite a bit because in, in uh, the end of 2022, people were sitting on the fence waiting for like, what's going to happen. But now yeah. people have more confidence or just need, need a home. Um, so yeah, it's definitely, you got to have all your ducks in a row if you want to buy right now and put your best foot forward. Um, yep. and then, you know, just know that in the future rates will come down and you can refi. Um, but you want experience, you know, it's not as competitive as the summer, but it's still competitive right now. So yeah. You're able to keep your contingencies in place, do your inspections um, during the summer. It was not like that. It was like, yeah, it's definitely more like 
it's, I don't know if it's, I'd have to check the stats if it's leaning into a seller or buyer's market. I think buyers have definitely more advantage right now. And <clears throat> it definitely has picked up here too compared to like January. Yeah, January was pretty rough. Um, but I think it's just because people are starting to realize, I mean, the rates are what they are and they're not going to like, they're not going to be what they were a, six months to even, you know, a year ago. I mean, that's right. long gone. So 2.75 is. Yeah. High. I mean, basically it was free money that um, is probably not going to be seen in our lifetime again. Right. So um, we're looking at hoping for more of a realistic interest rate around 5%. Yeah. Um, and that's fine. And it's also another reason why you need an experienced agent because you have to, you know, take all that stuff into consideration when putting your offers together. Cause it, I mean, here it is still pretty competitive just based on the fact that, you know, there's not a lot of inventory. I mean, I heard a statistic recently where, in San in the um, Tri Valley area, San Ramon, uh, Dublin, Pleasanton um, area, usually about sixty eight per sixty eight homes hit the market in each city. And in last month alone, I think it was it was like sixty seven hit the market in all three cities. So definitely supply and demand issues, but you know, fighting you're fighting for <clears> the <throat> house still, yeah. and and that's going to be um, an issue I think for years to come. Right now is the inventory issue because. In California, we're behind in our building in general, just because of all the rules and regs. And yep. uh, so now we're really feeling, feeling it. And then you give people a two and a half, three percent interest rate. Well, why are they going to move? So yeah. we even created this problem even more so by lowering the interest rates like that, in my opinion. Should have yeah. Never- and I, I think, you know, and Cal, I know it's funny because in my neighborhood, um, we were b- b- bike riding yesterday and I was like, this massive ADU is being built um, in a backyard. And I was like, they're making it easier to build ADUs here because it mm-hmm. is so expensive to build new builds and the red tape is just super difficult from what I've heard. So mm-hmm. um, I think that's going to be an issue too forever. And there's mm-hmm. so many people that want to live here. Like, you know, people always make fun of California, especially the Bay Area. But at the end of the day, for everyone that's leaving, there's people coming right back in. So yeah. you're not going to have a shortage of people No. So let's just talk about what life is like in general in the Bay Area compared to Sacramento um, and what you're seeing um, kind of pros and cons, would you say? Yeah. I mean, I love, I mean, I've, I've been California native here my whole life. I've grew up in okay. Santa Ramon, so I know very well what it's like to live in this area and why it's so great. Um, I don't think I'd ever leave because my whole family and friend base is here. Unfortunately, the, the, there are a few friends that have left, but I mean, obviously we'll just bullet point the amazing things about it, the weather. I think people come here primarily for the weather. It's so beautiful in the Bay area. Now I know San Francisco, people are going to freak out and be like, Oh, the weather's horrible there. It's just foggier. So where I live, it's going to be warmer, right? It's going to be about maybe seven to 10 degrees warmer always. Um, but it's just beautiful. And like where you are, I'm sure it's really nice and warm there too. So the weather's awesome. Minus San Francisco's fog. Um, so many things to do. I mean, you've got, I have a kid, so like, we're always at the parks and we kind of like do this little thing where we go to the coolest parks and it's like amazing. The parks are like, (laughs) you park up. (laughs) I mean, it's a little things when you have kids, you have to like get them out. So like, the parks are amazing. Like they literally rival each other. So there's like, if you just Googled like top 10 parks anywhere in like Contra Costa, San Francisco, you'll see they're amazing. Mm-hmm. So then you've got food, the beaches, the sporting events, the farmer's markets. I mean, all kinds of outdoor activities. You can spend a lot of money mm-hmm. or you could spend nothing like going to the park, like what we, we do. Um, there's a ton of festivals all the time going on, like <laughs> everything you can imagine, robot, AI, so like, you know, cultural mm-hmm. festivals and you just, there's just a lot of opportunity here. I don't know. I think there's, it's living in the Bay area. You've got a melge of every kind of person that you can imagine. And if you look at those people, they're all probably, you know, fierce competition as far as business and, you know, working is concerned. Right. So lots of opportunity to make money. Mm-hmm. Um, and have an amazing career. I mean, you've got mm-hmm. the Mecca of technology down in the Silicon Valley. Yeah. I mean, that's where literally the best of the best are, Yeah, um, which is why prices are so high, but there's just amazing things to do here. I can, I can go on and on and on, but those yeah. are just a few of them. Plus the food. I like the food too. Yeah. yeah. And I know I've been hearing like a lot of these companies are changing their rules about working remotely 
Mm -hmm. um, and people are concerned, oh, I'm going to have to sell my home. And are, is, are they going to change? Like some, I had a couple clients that um, could no longer move to Sacramento because they said that their job now has made a decision to no longer have people work remotely. So yep. they are no longer coming here. Um, I don't know. Are you still seeing a lot of people work remotely? And Oh yeah. I mean, and you know, there's, there's a, um, I saw a recent stat too, like all the technology layoffs, you know, like in January, February, um, you can go online and see how many people have been laid off. I mean, it's exactly. definitely hit the, the tech sector has definitely been hit hard. So again, you know, that could be beneficial for people here in California, you're going to list your house, call us, you know, because yeah. you never know if you can't work remotely, those are things that you're going to have to figure out. And also if you were part of that, um, those tech layoffs, because they're a significant amount. I think I heard like something in January, 84,000 tech employees got laid off. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's subsided slowly, you know, um, over the, the upcoming months, I think now we're in about my stat 37,000 got, got laid off in March. So, I mean, there's definitely going to have, there, there's going to be effect to that. So okay. if, if you are in that bunch, like you have to kind of like figure out what you're going to do and potentially consider a place like Sacramento where you don't have to pay $1.5 million for like an apartment in Silicon Valley. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, it definitely affects the technology sector, um, the economy right now. So I, I'm not sure all the rules of like, who's going, you right. know, to be able to work from home, but I know they're, they're kind of cutting down on that since COVID has kind of come to a halt now. Right? Yeah. I mean, that's something that could definitely bring inventory to the market. If people's life situations change. In fact, those are the people that really are making moves right now with the higher interest rates are people that have to move because of marriage, divorce, um, you know, they need yep. having, um, growing a larger family. Um, so life, life happens and doesn't matter what's going on with the market. People need to buy yeah. And, you know, my recent listings, they've all been people that have had to sell for a specific reason, like mm -hmm. they're moving, they're getting a divorce, you know, like that's, I think the kind of people that are leaving and, and actually putting their house on the market. So, so as far as Sacramento, um, you know, if you're thinking about a move here, I think it's a great quality of life. Mm -hmm. I used to live in Los Angeles for 13 years and I never thought I'd leave the big city. There was so much to do, but, um, I always say this, my mom told me that every decade your priorities change. Yeah. And, you know, in my twenties, I love to go out to the hot spots and, um, I was working as a wardrobe stylist in the entertainment industry. So obviously LA was, you know, the, the spot for that, but I just, got so tired of it, of that rat race. And I wanted to meet someone like a quality person. Yeah. I feel like it's a lot harder to do in a big city because everyone's there for their, they're looking for their next career move and they're thinking about themselves and not really in family mode. So, um, that was one reason. And another reason I just want an overall better quality of life. Most people are never going to be able to afford a home in a bigger city like Los Angeles or San Francisco. So it can be so depressing to work your whole life and not be able to attain what we call the American dream. So um, here, our median price is 500,000. You can get you know a nice house in a safe neighborhood for that. Mm -hmm. uh, and you know things go a little less as well. Uh, and they go up into the millions. Like what you can get for a million here is a really nice home. Um, yeah. What I'm seeing is a lot of Bay Area people who are moving here, they're moving to Placer County, El Dorado County, closer to the foothills. Uh, they're moving to Folsom. You have really good schools there, newer homes. You can get a lot of bang for your buck. Um, Toll Brothers just built, they're just did a ground opening for, I don't know if you know, Toll Brothers are really nice new home builds, but you get all the bells and whistle whistles for like the a gated community for one, two, we're talking over 3000 square feet with views of the, of the city and um, just really nice. So it's like you live most of your life either at work or at home, you know, now we're working from home and you don't have that much time unless you're in your twenties to really, um, you know, play in the city or in your area. So I kind of figured I'd rather have a nicer home and be able to have money to go travel around and for leisure rather than kind of be in a rat race and just 
be a month to month, you know, hard to make ends meet. Um, yeah. And so those are some things to consider. Life <laughs> happens. See, this is a prime example of working from home. <laughs> you so um, got me a coffee. <laughs> but okay. what, you know, we have the homeless situation here. It's California. So we're dealing with the same thing. A lot of homeless, the city um, after COVID, we have um, higher crime, more homeless. Um, hopefully our, our downtown will kind of get it together as well as San Francisco down. <laughs> yeah. I mean, <laughs> we can talk about this all day, all day. Yeah. Right. Um, on your side note, really quick, I wanted to mention because the quality of life is actually really, really important as, to me as well. And I've been lucky enough to have a home for a very, very long time, yeah. almost 20 years here in California. So I kind of lucked out. But like, yeah, I think a lot of people are moving to the Sacramento area because specifically for that quality of life, like there are some cons that you can go over, you know, um, like maybe let's just talk about something like San Francisco. You wouldn't necessarily have the city that you would be able to go to very easily, but you have downtown Sacramento, which is great, right? But you also won't have to pay two to $500 for an electrician to come out mm -hmm. just to change a light bulb or whatever they do, a fix an outlet. Like you will be able to save that like $300 and potentially go to, you know, a vacation or spend something on your home. And like you talked about a $1.2 million house in a gated community. I'm telling you right now that doesn't exist in California. Well, in the San Francisco Bay area, I'm sorry. So back to quality of life, just living in the San Francisco Bay area. We talked about the $1.2 million gated home community that you said yeah. that you have available. We yeah. don't have that here. <laughs> yeah. So you will get, you know, the thing that, that really irks me about California, you know, especially because I have a kid too, because I have lots of cons I could talk about, but <laughs> with kids, <laughs> schools, unless you're attached to a great zip code, you don't get the schools. Like mm -hmm. you get really bad schools. And mm -hmm. I know I'm not supposed to have an opinion on schools as a realtor. So don't take my advice, but just go <laughs> There's a little clause in there for you. Yeah. Um, just Google it yourself but you will pay like 1.5, like Walnut Creek, you know, according to greatschools.com has good scoring, depending on what you value, you know, and you're paying $1.5 million for like a fixer. It's, I mean, you might get a pretty like updated home that way, but really for a beautiful turnkey home, you're definitely paying 1.5 and up. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I just toured one I told one the other day it was beautiful. And I think it was in that price range. I'd have to double check, but yeah. So just wanting to side note onto that, what you had said, the quality of life, I believe people are often leaving the Bay area for Sacramento for that reason specifically. And if you have someone who doesn't have a household with dual incomes too, it makes it so yeah. much harder. So especially, for I think it's, a, I mean, sorry to interrupt you, but I think it's almost impossible yeah. to, to, to buy a home. I, I don't, I have um, my sons at private school and we have a teacher we're trying to work with to get her a place because she's wonderful and yeah. her budget, I I don't even know that, that something exists in a, in a decent, we're not even talking great, decent area. I mean, it's sad. Like she, her budget's like 300, maybe if she's lucky 300 with the dream for all, but the dream for all funds are gone. I know, only two weeks they lasted. I know. Um, That's why so SAC I, is great. Yeah, <laughs> I think- you know, your, our location is good too. Yes. We, we are not as close as the water as you yeah. are, but yep. we're only a two hour commute. Um, or we can go to Napa yeah. you know, an hour away or Tahoe two hours. So we have a location where you can have a nice home and you have all these, uh, world destinations that are just yeah. one to two hours away. So you really can't beat it. And I think our weather some people hate the heat. I love it. Um, and I really think well, unless, if you have central AC, it's all good. Okay. Um, so let's, let's talk about that though, because I think that people need to understand this. Like I really do, because I have a friend that just moved to Arizona and Sacramento, you guys are griping over a couple degrees. Yeah. I mean, I personally would rather, and don't get me wrong. I love the Bay area. And if you have money, call me because you're going to need it. If you want to buy a house here, it just is what it is. But like Sacramento, you're not talking like what's the hottest degree that you get up there. And it's a drier heat. It's not. I, we we had a record breaker last year. It was 116. Okay. 116. And that was like a day. But really we have over a hundred for about two weeks and it's not high hundreds. It's like just 
low 100s for about two weeks. But okay. The biggest thing you get a reward for those two weeks. You get beautiful summer nights, which is yes. like 80 degrees. And it's amazing. Absolutely. amazing. Okay. So I'm going to tell you something because I've lived here my whole life. We, it's not uncommon for us in this, when we have fire storms, all that fire stuff, I get it, but it's not common for us to reach in the Bay area where I live in the Wanna Creek area, 108. Like, you know what I mean? Like, so it's not that much hotter. If you right. really think about it, 108, oh. you're like hot right See, already it's not common like so 100 days not common but i would say 98 to 100 103 we're gonna get those days here like so if you guys are on the fence about like where to live i mean if you really want that ocean sure on those days go to the ocean watch everyone and their mom in the bay area will be at the ocean <laughs> And, and it's gonna be a, like a line and like mm -hmm. once you park you're gonna be like wanting to tear your hair out because it's yeah. just and you can even find parking. Yeah. Yeah. So it, how relaxed are you going to be at the ocean? Right. So I'm just going to keep it real because I feel like people need to know this stuff because that's not that much hotter than we are here. Number one. Plus you also can go up. I saw it on a YouTube and you know how much I love Tahoe within an hour from Sacramento, you can go up to ski and the lake. Let's tack on another half an hour. You can go to the lake Kings beach for free yeah. or Donner. Well, you can't go to Donner cause that's like a private club, yeah. but like, at the end of the day, you're very accessible. So there are certain things that, yeah, you're missing out on. But honestly, if I was in a situation where I couldn't afford a house in California, I would 100% consider Sacramento. Yeah. And I think, you know, back in the day when I was young, Sacramento was like considered a cow town to the Bay Area. And we were always uh, overshadowed by the Bay Area. But things have definitely changed like yep. this last decade. And if it weren't for COVID, I feel like Sacramento would have really hit its peak, but we still have a lot of things going for it. We do have great restaurants. We have some Michelin yep. star restaurants. We have the whole farm to fork movement. So all the food is really fresh. Um, and we have a lot of great chefs. Um, and we have like the midtown area where there's more hustle and bustle, a lot of walkability factor. So when someone comes from the Bay area and if they're younger and they still kind of want to function, I would say the Midtown area, you know, if you're in your twenties and still wanting to do the bars and go out and, and, um, you know, you have a great tech job and you're not looking for a home, then stay in the city. But when you want to really, um, settle down, put some roots down, I think Sacramento is definitely, um, a great investment because we still have growth here. And I always say for people who want to be entrepreneurs, it's a great town because, there's room for opportunity. There's yeah. not like, say you want to own it, own a donut shop. There's not a thousand donut shops. And in, in fact, I'm still looking for a really good one. So there is room for your ideas and your business here. And we will get behind you and the city will support you. So you're not just like another business run of the mill. Um, so a lot of opportunity for that. And I don't oh, think yeah. big cities like I say when I lived in LA, it was like, take a ticket. There's just always yeah. something and it's really your success rate is low. Yeah. And I'll tell you, I mean, having my own business here, I've had a uh, business for 18 years. I was a photographer and now real estate. And it's like, it's, it's super fierce and co competitive in this area, in the Bay area. I don't know how I was able to do it. You know, as a photographer, I was in the top, like probably 20% percent of photographers, but now in real estate, I mean, it's fierce competition here. So you will get eat up and spit out, you know yeah. what I mean? Very easily yeah. in the Bay area, but if you can rise to the top and make it, you know, past that, whatever, 50%, you can seriously succeed and rate the benefits. That's why I think Sacramento is great because a lot of people are coming there and there's not a ton of competition, you know, like there is obviously you have a grade of, you know, a caliber, but like, in California, in the San Francisco Bay Area, I mean, it's fierce out here. It's, yeah. it's no joke. It's not for the weak or faint of heart. Yeah, you got to have your hustle. Yeah, but the potential is exponential. That's why I, I'm a huge fan of Sacramento. I have friends that moved up there in, to the Rockland area, kind of up north, and they're thriving. You know, they have a beautiful home with the swimming pool. And I mean, the heat, it's like we could, you know, debate all day long how to get over the heat. Just get a Exactly. It'll cost you half the cost if you get it in Sacramento. I'm <laughs> like just trying to San Francisco. <laughs>
I'm just trying to think if there's any other points that I should hit as far as, oh, this is a big one. We have lots of things to do. If you are um, an active person like nature, you know, you can be in downtown and then 40 minutes later, you could be up in El Rado in the foothills. Um, my husband's a big mountain biker, so he loves to just drive up to the foothills and, or you could be a hiker, hiker, biker, mm -hmm. walker, you're into horses. So there's yeah. a lot of access for that. And we have two rivers, the Sacramento and the American. Yep. So we have a lot of water sports. We also have the Folsom Lake. Um, yeah. So we're a big boating town, water skiing, whatever water sport you want, we have it. Yeah. I mean, and I can boast about it too. Like I said, uh, one of the things that I wanted to mention too, because I always like to give people the negatives and the positives. Like there are so many great things about San Francisco. I mean, we've got the sporting events, all that. If you're into sports, if you're into hiking, biking, you know, all the outdoor activity, we have them too. But also Sacramento's coming up too, because you guys, you were just mentioning the other day about the Warriors and Sacramento Kings, you know? So if you're avid sports fans coming up in Sacramento, Plus, I really want to tell you that Tahoe, coming from the SFA area, you can get caught in traffic. It'll take you four hours to get there very easily. We're lucky we go up three. We have a place at Tahoe. So we go up, it's usually about three, maybe three and a half. But from Sacramento, you're like an hour. Mm -hmm. And the lake, if you're a, a lake snob like me, like you can't get much better than Lake Tahoe. But I have floated the Sacramento River. Super fun. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just don't drink and... <laughs> Yeah. Make sure you have floaties on if you're drinking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so lots to do here. No longer just the cow town. Um, yep. The only thing for shopping, it sucks. Sacramento proper really has no shopping. You could go to Roseville, but I yeah. prefer to just go um, to the Bay Area where you have much more access to all. I the mean, stuff. yeah. And sometimes you just go online. <laughs> yeah, true. So it really doesn't matter now. Yeah. Days. I mean, one thing. Well, yeah, if you want the experience, come on over, take a day trip, come bring your money over to San Francisco, but keep your money in Sacramento. <laughs> but at the end of the day, there are so many great things about both areas. I mean, for me, I'm really frustrated with the taxes, the homelessness issue, the crime, yep. the fact that, you know, my poor clients have to, you know, make 300 plus thousand dollars to afford a nice zip code. It's frustrating, you know? So Sacramento is a great opportunity to like, not have to deal with any of that, but then also come, you're not so far away that you can't come visit. I mean, ha yeah, if you have a lot of money, come call me, but just know that those are the things that you're going to look at. But Sacramento is a great place, you know, for someone looking to put roots down and raise a family and have a beautiful pool in their backyard. I think that's a, a good way to sum it up, Rachel. I mean, whatever your needs are, um, if you have questions on the Bay Area or Sacramento, reach out to Rachel or I. We'd love to help you. Um, yeah. we have a lot of people relocate and you don't want to be in the hands of just any realtor because there's a lot of moving parts. People don't realize they say they're pre-approved all the time before they come. And um, with the, the work scenario, there's a lot of intricacies um, that people get overlooked by many lenders. So we wouldn't want you to find the house uh, yes. with the competition of 13 offers and then, oh, you don't have the proper financing because your lender didn't do their job right, which it happens all the time. Yes. So reach out to one of us if you are considering or just have any questions. We'll put a great game plan together and all the links for Rachel are going to be down below so you can reach out to her directly. Yeah. And I think, you know, no matter what, I just want to leave this um, on the table it is always a good time for you to buy a home or invest in a home because renting in California is no bueno. We don't want you to rent. We don't want you to waste that money. So talk to one of us if you want to sell or buy. We can always give you a good roadmap to wherever you need to go. And yeah. thank you for having me on that. Of on course. So fun always hanging out with you. I know. <laughs>